my gorgeous soul. Welcome to your November astrology. Of course, we are deep in Scorpio season. Mercury is going retrograde and we're swimming in the underworld for most of the month. Here's your monthly astrology. Capricorn, you soulful goat, how are you doing? Are you still climbing up that mountain? Well, the peak is there. But having said that, Mercury is going retrograde. Um, you may actually get involved with people from your past, people you've collaborated with, people you've hung out with. Uh, you may be, in fact, there may be something that you've written online in the past that comes back to haunt you, or it may be that you're looking at your online presence and you're thinking, right, I want to change that now, but somebody from the past may be coming to help you. You're super, super social, and as I say, the, you may be hanging out with people from yesteryear. Venus, the planet of love, is in your, in your most romantic and empathetic place. You want deeper connections. You want to kind of feel the other humans in your life. You want to kind of really con connect on a spiritual level. And you, you, you want to open up your heart. You want to be less kind of success or orientated and you want to be more heart center orientated this month. And your, your heart is wide open. There are strange and soulful connections, but because Mercury is retrograde, you know, yes, you might be plunging into a past life. You might meet someone and you feel like you've known them for eternity and you connect with their soul. But because Mercury is retrograde, you not, might, may not be seeing that they, they're current the where they are in this life. So, you know, don't give your heart and soul away this month, but do experience deep, deep intimacy and connection. Now, the full moon is in a fabulous place for you. You should have a kind of peak experience of joy, happiness or play around the 12th of November. And if you don't, and you find yourself feeling unhappy on that day, it may be that you need to look at the deeper issues. What do you do to fulfill yourself creatively? What do you do to fulfill yourself in your romantic relationships? What do you do um, to take time to be happy and do the things that bring you pleasure in life? The moon uh, will bring you an answer. What else is going on here? We have Mars shifting signs. You are so sociable. You will be going here, there and everywhere. There's so many things that you're doing. You're a great team player. In fact, you might find someone saying, oh, do you want to come down and, and join the girls for football on the green? That was very specific, but you know what I mean? You might want to go to, to join a toboggan team in Kathmandu, although that will be hard because there's no snow in Kathmandu. Or is there? <laughs> there might be. But, you know, you're a team player. And anything to do with team sports, you are like, right, we're going to win. So you've got a, a great attitude about that with Mars in that position. Mercury goes direct on the 21st, but as we know, or maybe you don't know, but it's still in shadow till December. So the full picture is not clear. If you want to properly join forces with a group, you'll start to see if it's right for you by the end of the month. Then the sun shifts signs and goes into your sort of psychic and intuitive. And, you know, it's a great time for the next few weeks to think about your spirituality, to meditate, so that you're very clear that you're making the right decisions. Venus and Jupiter, you know, you could meet a soulmate. I hate that term soulmate, actually, I'm taking that back. A soul connection, someone that you have a, a, a just a really intense vibration with that changes you and opens you up on deeper levels. The new moon's also in that energy, so definitely something profound is coming your way. Pay attention to your intuition, listen to your psychic inner voice. Um, and finally, Venus goes into your sign. Yeah, baby, on the 26th. You're every inch the love magnet. You you are all about the love. Love is coming to you. Love comes in many forms. You know, we get, look, look at this profound little baby giving me the love while I'm just sitting here and supporting me doing this. You know, we have love from our friends. We, we have love when we're wandering around in the cosmos. Um, you know, as well as love from our partners. But yeah, something profound is coming your way. You are a love magnet and you're drawing all sorts of love to you. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Capricorn, Capricorn, powerful Capricorn. Here's your November tarot. If you're not into tarot, see you next time. Love you. And if you are, be aware that this is obviously symbolic. Use your intuition to navigate the reading. Okay, let's see what's going on with Capricorn this month of November. Oh, 
Okay, the first card, the King of Swords. You might have to be a tough negotiator this month, uh, but you can do it. You might have to put your kind of heart to one side and go, right, I am negotiating for security and for success. Doesn't mean you're not emotional, because actually beneath you and within you is great emotional happiness bubbling away. You may have come through some legal situation or a situation involving justice, but as November progresses, there is great happiness, union, and a kind of sharing of energies. You've got a new start. You're strong. You know, you're the magician coming in. You're, you're creating your reality. You feel stronger than you have in a long time in November, potentially. Um, there may be uh, an ending or a split up or a change with somebody that's close to you. Um, but actually, it, on the one hand, you feel victory. You feel great about it. Uh, it might be quite difficult to get rid of that person because they keep coming back or they keep sort of saying they've changed. But, you know, you have reached a point of judgment where you are going forward and you want happiness. You want healing. You want inspiration. And it is there for you. Also, there might be a move or a change of environment. Um, or you go into someone's house or they come into your house and you get in the bad vibes. They're not as loving and open as you thought. And you're like, no, <laughs> piss off. I'm heading here, baby. I'm heading to liberation, healing. And I only want to hang around and certainly make love to the people that have got a heart of gold. Take care, gorgeous. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching, my lovely. Do come and visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight. Michelle with one L. I do interactive tarot every day and astrology. And if you want a free compatibility chart and your natal chart with all the details for free, michellenight.com. And also, if you love the astrology, horoscope.co.uk. See you there.